I will reach out a hand of friendship to whoever uh, is elected by the, the Turkish uh, people and try to build upon the momentum that has been established uh, after the devastating uh, earthquakes. So, but I'm not naive. I know that uh, you know, foreign policies of countries don't change from one day to the next. Uh, but I would hope uh, that the next Turkish government would overall reconsider uh, its approach towards the West, not just towards Greece, towards Europe, towards NATO, and towards the United States. Uh, let's hope for the uh, uh, for the uh, for the best. Uh, but uh, again, uh, I have uh, you know I have to make sure that uh, I'm also ready for uh, you know for, for a renewed period of tension after the elections. How how would you deal with that? with the same way we have dealt with it so far. I mean, uh, at some point, uh, we make it very, very clear uh, that there are red lines that simply cannot be crossed. Um, uh, we will build up on our alliances, uh, and we will continue to strengthen our deterrence uh, posture. You've said that your migration policy is tough but fair, um, but it has come under a lot of criticism, uh, including from international rights organizations. Mm -hmm. If you're re-elected, is there anything in your migration policy that you would change? We would continue with the same approach of making sure that we protect our borders. Uh, and uh, by tough but firm migration policy, I mean that we simply don't have an open door policy uh, as the previous government did. But this does not mean that we don't fully respect fundamental rights. We will build our fence uh, on, our, uh, on our northern border. Again, I want to make it very clear, I'm, un un I'm unapologetic about that. We, will, we have reversed the policy of the previous government, which had an open-door policy, which ended up you know, uh, allowing more than a million people to, to cross uh, into, uh, into Greece in 2015. That's not going to happen uh, again.